Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I would like to talk about the hot gigs that you can offer and that sellers are currently offering, which attracts a lot of attention, buyers, uh, large orders in queue number as well. And honestly, it's always good to look at the market and look at the gigs, look at the what becomes popular. Of course, Fiverr, it's kind of like making it sometimes a little bit easier now with this trending tab. So let's take a look. And I want to also kind of like explain what I feel from my experience, how my uh, journey has started this year, kind of like I would say continuous uh, journey, but still how it's been this year, beginning of the year, because obviously the end of the year was, I would say kind of slow and it's very normal because when the holidays are finishing up, the Black Friday, Thanksgiving, uh, usually it just gets very slow, January, it's a pretty slow month as well uh, as from social media marketing gigs. But then February, March, and April, it's starting to pick up. It's starting to get better because more people are getting into social media more people are wanting to run campaigns grow accounts and things like that so let's go and look at the search again so once we're in the main page here right so you can always see here like popular website design wordpress logo design nft art so we have covered about nft art before i made sub several videos it's still very popular uh, industry the niche is just crazy there is a lot of orders there's a lot of sellers it's just it's just crazy how popular it becomes and also I did create my own NFT drawing gig and so far I haven't got an order yet it's been actually I would say uh, almost a month right now so three four weeks so far I still haven't got an order but I actually got a potential buyer who might be buying one of um, my gigs um, my one of my packages for NFT art in the next few days so we'll see how it goes but yes it takes time when you especially if a trend like this with NFT it will always takes time to get a first order especially if you're doing like uh, I would say NFT are high ticket services so especially if you're offering something like for 250, 300, 500 dollars, uh, it's gonna take some time before you're gonna get the order. That's why you have to use buy requests. That's how, that's why you have to always make sure you optimize your gig as well. You have video ideally or picture, you have all the clear description as well. Like this one is actually looking pretty good so far. And don't be as well um, kind of like mislead because when you see the orders in queue, some buy, some sellers might be actually buying the reviews and just kind of like asking their friends to order. And then that's why you can see the orders in queue. That's why you can see the first reviews. So just don't look at this and think like, okay, this maybe everyone who bought the standard. Maybe it could be like, let's say five of those people could be just the friends or people who are in exchange for reviews because that's like a big, big trend as well on Fiverr, unfortunately. And I definitely don't recommend that because it's just not it's it's better to start slow and then eventually build your reputation than just kind of like trying to trick the system and then you can get punished very easily and just get uh, banned for life on fiverr so okay so nft art still gonna be the trend if you're looking here we still have nft services nft marketplaces honestly i mean i see there is a demand but honestly for my tiktok nft gig right now i don't really see um I mean, I see a lot of messages, but they're like unrealistic. You know, when someone asks you like, can you grow my account to a million followers in one week? Or can you grow it to like tens of thousands of followers? It's just like, unrealistic numbers unrealistic expectations that's what i see i don't really see a lot of orders uh, so that's why i would say it might be kind of tricky as well uh, i do see maybe a few messages for my nft uh, for my nft drawing right but again some people just unrealistic and it's just you know it doesn't really make sense so if we go for example to uh, let's say nft promotion uh you can see my gig straight away here so i'm getting yes i'm getting a lot of messages i'm getting a lot of um, questions asked but it's just not very realistic so for me it, it was a bit surprising to see that nft space because obviously there's a lot of people who are trying to maybe um, get rich fast or think that it's something that they can do overnight so yeah but still i'm gonna give it more time i'm i, I still have uh, if you go to my gig, I still have five uh, right now, six orders in queue, which is okay. I mean, it's building slowly, right? So I also published this gig maybe a month ago, somewhere like that. Okay, still six orders in queue, no reviews yet, but 
it probably needs more time. And we're gonna see because obviously NFT is still gonna be popular for this year, uh, for the next, definitely this month, next month, and this year, I think it's gonna be very, very popular too. So besides NFT, we have right now the tax season, which is normal. This is actually uh, a pretty cool that they put out there. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't really release social media like Instagram marketing, TikTok marketing, because those kind of services are still high demand. If you even go for, let's say like Instagram, search for Instagram and see what is out there, right? We can see a lot of different gigs. Um, I do have a lot of people on fake removal, ghost removal recently. So definitely Instagram marketing, it's still, uh, it's still very, very popular. And especially now, like I have, I mean, before January, I had around 100, plus orders in queue like for Instagram, um, actually combine Instagram and TikTok. So like 50 plus for Instagram. Right now it's 100 plus uh, clients for Instagram. So it basically increased by a lot, right? So yes, Instagram still high demand. There's a lot of services. There's a lot of uh, sellers who are doing the follow on follow service, who are doing any other things as well. So yes, the competition is high, but still it's possible to grow uh, your reputation. It's possible to get good results there as well. Besides Instagram, TikTok has a big trend as well. I see a lot of people interested in TikTok and especially they're interested in account creation. Account creation, getting started, creating those videos and they show. So this could be a good service to start, not necessarily maybe grow the client accounts, but just get started. Maybe you can just optimize their videos from YouTube and put it on, on the TikTok as well. This is a very, very popular service as well. Um, as you can see with Instagram, I mean, it's always been, uh, it's always been different. Instagram marketing, hashtag research, things like that but honestly for TikTok, you can still see uh, a very big demand and there is not many sellers compared to Instagram at the moment. So there's around 5,000 uh, services for TikTok and there's around 15,000 services for Instagram. So as you can see, uh, it's three times more, of course, for Instagram. So besides social media marketing, of course, the website design, it's gonna be very big. WordPress, I probably, well, I have a few sellers I know, the demand is crazy. It's gonna be booming. This is some kind of a niche which will always, in my opinion, increase. So it's good to always think about how you can like differentiate a little bit instead of like say, I will build your custom website. You can say, I'll build your real estate you know, website. I'll build your NFT. I'll build your, um, maybe you can say like fitness you know, website or music uh, website. So it's always good to like maybe go in more in the niches rather than just be like a very general because first of all when you have multiple gigs you have more chances for your gigs to be ranked so eventually you have more traffic because when you have just one gig you're kind of like limiting yourself even though this gig could be in the top of the search still having two gigs in the search it's much better than one right so i highly suggest you to maybe break down by niches and see how you can uh, come up with different sort of gigs which will eventually uh, push your um, rankings in the search higher and then you can get more traffic so very important guys like when you're looking at those like even like the business section which has a lot of new uh, subcategories here but even this section has obviously a potential there's a lot of consulting uh, consulting uh, gigs here as well. I mean, this one I'll provide consulting salaries with Sam Owens for five USD. I mean, obviously this is something that Fiverr should look at because this is definitely not the right service to offer, but still there's a lot of services even in this space, business consulting space that you can offer. And, and in my opinion, of course, it might not provide you a lot of traffic, but still, because it's not very competitive, right? Like in the whole section, there is like 5,000 services, which is not a lot because in the TikTok, it's only 5,000, right? And this is much more general niche. So I will suggest to look at the niches like this and just go like, you know, let's say even sales, uh, event management, customer care, market research, right? So, and there's gonna be more and more categories. Uh, well, lifestyle, I haven't really looked a lot into that niche, but obviously there's new subcategories too, which could be valuable. But of course, one of the biggest, I would say is still digital marketing. If you can come up with uh, services related to that, Spotify promotion, it's very, very big. Um, managing as well, you know, like, blogs and writing blogs this is something that has been also very very popular but it's all depends 
on what you want to do that's why it's good at the beginning to open up new, several gigs you can maybe open up a gigs in the social media marketing space you can do content management you can also open up gigs in the website design you can create websites and then eventually you can see which one is going to be having more traffic and which one you will enjoy more i have also a seller which uh, i'm actually helping and she has gigs in the website design space she has gigs in the social media marketing and she's always kind of like surprised because sometimes she might be getting a new order for a website website which she really enjoys other times for content management and then she's like oh I enjoy website more than content so it's very interesting to see and that's why guys you should try to open a gigs in different categories and see what traffic you can get and what clients you can work with so please let me know um, if you have any questions so far also feel free to um, post the comments if you've been working on new gigs if how Fiverr has been performing you for the first uh, two months so far and I'll be happy to look it over you can always uh, send me a message on Instagram if you have any questions as well thank you so much for your support and see you in the next video